Hello there guys. Right, this is the short version of this video. If you want a long version, there will be a link in the description. We're gonna be talking about the way that rebasing works on a token. Now this is a way of making a reward tokens chart look good even though it has to sell the native token to buy the reward. So if you imagine if you've got a reward token, the contract itself has to sell that token and then it buys something else and it gives you whatever that might be. So as an example, baby poo coin sells baby poo coin, it buys poo coin and it gives it to you just for holding. So your overall value is going up because you're getting loads of poo coin, but the chart of baby poo coin looks bad because of this. And rebase is the way that we fix this. Now it works by changing the price of the token, changing the total supply, and changing the holding that everybody has in their wallet. But it does all of those things in balance, and this shows you exactly how it works. So if you imagine that we've got a token and the price is $100 and you have 200 of them, you've got $20,000 worth of that token. Now if we rebase by 1%, we increase the price of that token from $100 to $101. PooCoin now thinks that you've got $20,200, but obviously you don't. We've not just given you $200. So to correct this, we have to make some adjustments. And the way we do this is to lower the amount of tokens that you're holding and lower the total supply by the same percentage that we increased the price. So we need to lower your tokens by 1%. So now you've got roughly 198 tokens, but they're now worth more than they were before. So your 198 tokens that are worth $101 each has a value of $20,000. Exactly the same as your 200 tokens that were worth $100 each. So that seems a little bit convoluted. Why do we do it? It seems a little bit of a crazy thing to do and it also really confuses PooCoin. So I'm gonna show you why we do this. We're gonna have a look at three reward tokens. One of them is Baby PooCoin and it's doing pretty well, but it has to sell Baby PooCoin to buy PooCoin. And it's doing that without the help of Rebase. So this is the way that that chart looks. So I'm sure you'll agree it doesn't look very nice. And it's doing, it looks like this because it has to sell the native token. So if we look at another one, this is only up. This was the first reward token on the Binance Smart Chain that also uses um, the rebase system. So a reward token that uses rebasing. And rather than the chart looking like that, the chart looks like this. I'm sure you'll agree that is brilliant. It is a fantastic step forward. However, it does have some problems. I'm gonna show you another one because it's one that I'm actually holding. Uh, so this is a token which I have about $200 of. Now I bought this a couple of days ago and I put in 0.5 BNB, which is roughly $200. Now obviously I lost a little bit of money because of the taxes. So I've got to recuperate that before I can start making some profit. So at the moment I'm about breaking even. But because this token has used a rebase feature, PooCoin thinks I've got a lot more money than I have. So that's what I've actually got. If I was to sell my entire holding, you would see I'd get 0.42 BNB. And I put in 0.5, so I'm roughly even if you take the taxes into account. But PooCoin seems to think that I have $841, which I don't, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's simply because PooCoin doesn't understand the adjustments of the price and the adjustments of the total supply in people's holdings. So it just gets very confused and it tells you the wrong thing. So what I've got to get across on this video, and I hope that you can take this away from this, the number of tokens that people hold changes and the price of the token also changes. They go up and down in balance with one another to keep something else always constant. That is the dollar value of what you are holding. So the number of tokens that you've got might go down and the price might go up and that keeps the value the same, or it could be the other way around. So when we rebase, we adjust certain things, but the one thing that remains constant is your value. So that's constant and that is true. So what we're seeing here, this uh, $841, that is not correct. 
That's PooCoin getting confused by the entire process. But what is correct is this up here, which I currently have, which is $198. So I hope that clears up any confusion. These tokens are probably gonna become a lot more popular because people do like reward tokens and rebasing makes them look a lot nicer. I would much rather buy and hold a chart that looks like this or this rather than that even though they're all doing the same thing. And they're all successful tokens. It's just this chart looks bad because it hasn't got the rebase feature adjusting the supplies and adjusting the price. And that's the thing that's making these charts look great by comparison. But the actual value in people's pockets never changes unless the price of the token actually goes up or down from people buying and selling. That's all guys, take care, bye bye.